flags are raised. And they're off for today's feature race, the 15th running of the £100,000 Grade 2 Labrooks Desert Orchid Chase over two miles. And they've got 12 fences to take in the Pink Silks Grenatine just about in front on the run down towards the opening obstacle before midnight right in behind Shishkin lands over in third place and the back marker Sky Pirate as they race towards jump number two Grenatine and before midnight settling down disputing the lead at the second before midnight landed in front there from Grenatine Shishkin in third and then Sky Pirate running towards the third before a circuit on the chase course before midnight big jump there landed a length and a half in front of Grenatine in second Shishkin on his reappearance in third and Sky Pirate last of the four with a lap to go in the Labrix Desert Orchid chase and it's before midnight he's won both of his starts this season with Windsor Ascot and Chotnam who leads the way length in front from Grenatine the Tingle Creek winner from last time at Sandown sitting in second place under Brownie Frost Shishkin is back in third in his reappearance today. Yellow and black silks in third position. Looking to make it six out of six over fences today. Winner of the Arkle at the Cheltenham Festival last spring. Followed up at Aintree in the Margol. Nico de Boinville on board. Sky Pirate who won the Grand Annual at Cheltenham last season. It's last of the four under Nick Schofield. And they're racing towards fence number four with before midnight in front over that plain fence. Now they make their way towards the first open ditch. Before midnight and San Tristan Davis took off a mile from that fence, stretched and reached to the other side for the length and a half lead. So Grenatine in second, Shishkin back in third, and then Sky Pirates as they turn into the back straight to face up to the four fences that await them over there. Before midnight, out in front, and Grenatine in second place, Shishkin in third. And Sky Pirate last of the four, running the way towards fence number six. A couple of plain ones before another open ditch. It's before midnight. He leads. And Grenatine over in second, Shishkin over in third, and then Sky Pirate. Now towards fence number seven. Before midnight, a length and a half the lead. So Grenatine, the pink silks. Nearly back on terms again. Shishkin lands in third and then Sky Pirates as on they now go towards the open ditch number eight. It's before midnight. He has the lead from Grenatine and Shishkin. Over the ditch there, Sky Pirate last of the four. Before midnight, a length and a half in front from Grenatine and Shishkin back in third. Sky Pirates is still last of the four over that final fence over on the back straight. Before midnight, is going to lead them on towards the turn. Length and a half in front from the now nudged along Grenatine to the outside of Shishkin has also been slightly nudged along as well by Nico de Boinville. Sky Pirates last of the four as they begin to turn towards home. Three to take in the Labrets Desert Orchid chase before midnight leads by a half a length only to Grenatine to the outside. Shishkin to the inside of those two. Sky Pirates still looking to come up with something as they approach three from the end before midnight with Shishkin looking now to draw on turns. Grenatine is under pressure, now drops away into third. Sky Pirate trying to stay on. Shishkin leads on the approach towards two out. He has a three length lead from before midnight. Grenatine lands in a dispute for second, then Sky Pirate. Shishkin is now pulling clear. He's eight lengths in front, racing down towards the final fence. Shishkin from Grenatine, and then Sky Pirate and before midnight. The final fence, Shishkin, he's over safely. Grenatine lands in second, Sky Pirate back in third, then before midnight. It's a winning return to action for Shishkin, who wins the Desert Orchid chase. He's six out of six over fences. Shishkin has beaten Grenatine. Sky Pirate third, and before midnight, last of four. Thank you, live with Nicky Henderson. I'm tempted, Nicky Henderson, after the victory of, of Shishkin, to say, what was all the fuss about? That was dead straightforward. In fact, it was brilliant. Well, it, it was, <laughs> I've got to say. Yeah, it was fantastic. But, you know, we haven't had an easy time. I'm just saying to Nicky, when I legged him up there, and he's been brilliant. I mean, he came in the road about, I think, six consecutive days last year. Not that anybody, Jane, who looks after him, has done a great job too, but and does everybody. But we have been, we, we had a, we were in a dark place for a while. And 
a week ago, I wasn't even, I, I nearly wasn't even going to enter him today. I wait for the Clarence House. And then he did a bit of work. I think, I think we'd better enter him. And I, that's when I said, look, we'll enter it, but no promises. And then he followed that up with schooling was great. Did a bit on the Friday, which I wouldn't normally do before a race, you know, on a, on a, on a Monday, but he just confirmed it. And I said, OK, I, I just was desperate to get out, but I was very, very nervous that he wasn't, you know, say, 10 days a week ago, I really didn't think he'd get it. What do you think it was that was, was, was holding him up? Well, it's like any horse. I mean, it, it, he just had a... We, we all get bugs and things like that. He wasn't working well, and, and, and he was flat. And then, 10 days later, his tracheal wash, mm. you know, when we can look down, then we find mucus and all sorts of things, that actually neutrophils, and if you want a science lesson, go and talk to the vet, not me, but, you know, we know what this all means. There's macrophages and neutrophils and all sorts of things, and they were all wrong, absolutely crazy wrong. I mean, if you'd run a horse then, you'd have wrecked him for life. And so we knew we were, we were right, thank God, that something was amiss, and... Um, you know, we had to step out the Tingle Creek. I was dying to run him. Um, last night I was nervous, but, you know, now it's over. It's, it's great to see him back like he, you know, that was him again. I, I, I've never seen you quite as animated after a race as I saw you today on those, those pictures of you after. You've trained however many dozen Cheltenham Festival winners, Gold Cup winners, Champion Hurdle winners, King George winners, everything. Why has this meant quite so much to you? Well, I think a little bit was the sort of the aftermath of the... You've got to agree that we got a fair bit of flack for not running in the Tingle Creek. Now, as I said, this horse is very lucky because he has a very understanding owner, Joe and Marie Donnelly. They are the most lovely people in the world. Joe just said, you do whatever you think is right. And we did what I think was right and as you know we didn't it wasn't the most popular decision but it was the right decision and we looked after him and he's come back he's only just got back in time i was nervous we weren't in which case i'd have had egg in my face again but you know now he has come back and yeah it's it's just nice to know that we can still you've got a very good horse we know he's a very good horse i don't, I don't think anybody needed to be told that but to see him back to be not back you know just that he still is what he promised to be and i think he's you know there's going to be threats out there um willie's got his team i know he's sad to sad his horse can't run today and in argentine has got to appear but we're, we're we're back on track that's the most important thing and can we realistically expect him to appear at Ascot, for example, in the Clarence House, or is that too soon? That comes very quickly, doesn't it? It closes tomorrow, we're going to put him in it. Um, that'll be a brave shout. Um, it might surprise somebody if I did it, you know, but one sometimes got to be brave. But on the other hand, you know, he's got years in front of him. We're not going to, we're not going to take any chances and I'll probably get castigated again. But my job is what we want to do, and you know where that is. Come on, Nicky, it's water off a duck's back now. You can take it, you can take a bit of you can take a bit of criticism. Well I can yeah, I can, but you know me, it doesn't sort of it gets to, I, it gets to me. It does, because we're only trying to do our best. Fantastic team, and I think we know what we're doing. And if you know, when somebody you know, when the world wants to tell you you're actually doing it wrong, well then it's probably time I gave up, but hopefully it isn't. OK, are you gonna win the next? Because we we're about to jump. Uh, this horse will not like the there. ground. <laughs> OK, well, so fingers crossed and no yeah. more. Yeah, thanks. Uh, Nicky, thanks so much for your time. Best of luck. We look forward to seeing him wherever he appears next. Thanks, Nick. Cheers.